Hello, I'm out here in the shop. I got a little job for a friend of mine to do. Up. He got a little mini lathe and the parting blade holder that he got for it was pretty bad. So I told him I'd make him one. While I'm working on stuff, I'm also working on the die filer. So I'll show, I'll get everything started and get everything running. This piece cut, I did up a loose set of dimensions here of what needs to be done. It's pretty bad drawing, and I know, but it'll get me by. I've already scribed the line here to get it to where I need it. So, I gotta take this down till it's matched, till it's just half inch. Sorry about that. There we go. Yeah, just gotta take it down to half inch and on over. Okay, I'll come back or I'll get this started and start eating away some material. I got the other piece cut off and saw it was both halves of the piece for the die filer. I'll show it a second while this is running. Okay, here it is. It's just a block. I drilled three holes in it next by next. It's three quarter inch thick. Um, Easiest way to explain it is this. I'll take a trim. I'll trim this off and round it over a little bit. Just a little bit and then Brian profile it. I gotta cut a half inch slot for a brass block to write in so it'll slide back and forth in this which will go in on a pin that goes on that this is not the final rod it's just something I was playing with it just pops off but I'll machine the whole part out of one giant rod or a one inch piece of steel because I got tons of it. Yep. Okay. Increased speed a little bit, so it'll just eating it now. After this pass, I'll measure how deep I need to go and. Yep. And then I'll flip it up so that it can go up to the What am I at now here? Sorry if I kicked the camera I'm trying to get in here. I am at
641. So I got a hundred and forty thousandths to go. Alright, back to this. Well, I was trying to turn the direction or disengage and engage it, and bump well, must have done something wrong because it snapped right off. So I gotta take it easy. I can get a screwdriver in there to turn the paw to get it to disengage. So I get it back across and such, but it's gonna have to be neat to be fixed here soon. Just make a whole new piece for this. That about makes me sick. Evidently it... Yeah, it was very, very thin and I think it was cast iron is what it was. Because it was barely together. Uh, I'm just feeding it over by hand. Um, digging it down in and cutting the groove for the blade to go in. Okay, I got the dovetail part done. It's just a piece of high-speed steel. See, it doesn't fit in this way, but if you slide it in from the end. Now I'll take and drill a hole straight down through the middle of this part here after I measure everything out again. Because I made a slight miscalculation in planning. I draw file to all the sides except for the ends, which I'm planning on cutting it down to size anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I'll drill a hole straight down through the middle of it for compression point, so it doesn't create a weak point. And then stick it on the saw and cut right down through it to that hole. Okay, I'll drill the hole real quick and start cutting through it. I'm drilling them both in the halfway through, then it'll meet in the center.
side. Now to split it in the saw. Okay, um, finally got it. I had to split it with the angle grinder because I couldn't get a good way to hold it in the saw, which it kind of is not my best work, but it holds it very well. See, it's too big because of the dovetail, but you put it, you slide it in, and it holds it this way, this way, and when you clamp or when he clamps it down in the turret tool post it'll actually clamp this thing tight and will lock this thing in place so I just draw filed a lot of the sides and got it all cleaned up for him so yep okay thanks for watching see ya